He's a real man. Alright, Jamie. He's actually done some work, has he, Baggy? Yep. For the first time ever, Jamie's done work. <laughs> no comment. He sat in van for about half an hour eating his chip butter. Good morning, that's another week here. And as somebody would say, another famous YouTuber on their channel, it's Monday morning and I'm in the yard. <laughs> you should know what that one is if anybody watches YouTube a lot. But yeah, just, just take some loading actually, we're just getting probably some big gates in this morning and they're carrying all my rest of the fencing down at the old house, just down the road. Um, I've actually got a site meeting with the project manager who's in charge of this uh, project and he's sort of running it for the trust actually, they've got quite a few schools and uh, well we've already got two schools so we've got one to do more or less straight after this. Uh, I'm going back up there to have a site meeting with him and the trust up there at uh, Hollywood um, and I've actually got another school that we're going to go see probably next week. I've been up there, we've quoted it, I just want to run through a few things. Probably more to do with that actually, it's more the, how the Paxton works, they've got an old system running, um, so they want it all in the same system basically. So yeah, we're just getting loaded up here and then we'll uh, We'll go down there and let's like say I'll, I'll try and get some footage when I go, but it's hard sometimes when you're with people from the trust and whatnot. But yeah, they're really cracking on at Grove House. Uh, they've probably got a third of fencing up already, which isn't bad in what, two days I think it was, yeah, two days last week. So, should have not, probably not far off, end of this week really. But yeah, we'll get some footage as we're going along. This is just what we're on with, all this coming down now, made some progress. So back of that fence, straight line across there. Coming down here, still got gates and stuff to install. All the way down. Yeah, it's uh, looking good, looking good. The real man. Alright, Jamie. He's actually done some work, hasn't he, Baggy? Yeah. For the first time ever, Jamie's done work. <laughs> no comment. He's sat in van for about half an hour eating his chip butter. <laughs> so. All oh, this is down here, double gates in, all the way down. All that's in, so it's all segregated now, 2.4i down there, brilliant. This gate's in, closing nicely. All the way down, all these walls to come out now, and then we're out of here. Busy, busy this morning, been nice and early. Uh, lads are just loading up here, back down at uh, Grove House. Been up here. Jamie's got his ivy on as usual. Like. All season fences. It's like, it's like a game with Jamie getting his ivies on. So yeah, they're just loading up here. But we use most of that pack, won't we? We need oh, some more. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, plenty more over there, haven't we? But yeah, I think uh, Justin's going for rustic gates for this job today. Um, the other singles are needed there. There's a big double that he's got to pick up that I couldn't get all on last week. So yeah, we'll get some footage as we go along. Good morning, it's Saturday morning. Don't know many Saturdays. It's, uh, it's cold, but it's dry and sunny at least. But as you can see in the background, we've got Ryan here pulling the wall down. Done a good job. He's already got this down in a couple of hours. There's a wall up here, all the way out there, down there. He's already got this big one down here. He's got a grab one coming, so he's just getting it in the manageable piles. So yeah, that's down already. Everybody's Ryan. Give us a thumbs up, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's got Pekka and everything here. He's just going to Pekka some, some of these last bits out. That's like a gas house, and so is that. So it's a bit tricky. And then I've got electrics on these gates here, so we're renewing these gates, new automated gates. There's electrics there, so he's got to be careful. But yeah, he's got all this down, he'll fence it off, this is our temporary fencing. And he's got a stone wall right down there where we finished our new fencing here. Right down there to pull down, which uh well so yeah, all good in the hood. So hopefully Monday when we come the lads will just be at a fence off where they pull the wall down and We'll get the automated gates done and uh, 
that should be it. I'm sitting next. So, good afternoon. We're at Grove House Primary School and uh, we're just getting some gates out today. Doing a lot of work here now. So, we're trying to get in this all but keep the wires intact. He's got his IVs on. Baggy's here, he's not asleep. Hold it asleep now, Justin. I didn't just hit an employee. <laughs> and then this one's to do the same, yeah. We back two hours, dig out each one. Obviously, just because we're protecting the wires as well, so. So this gate here is to be dug out as well, so that'll uh, be a nice one. They're actually going to get this bit renewed as well, what one on the court. So we'll get that done for him. All this will be filled back in underneath, just to make sure there's no big holes. And it goes all the way down to bottom, they've got double uh, gates. I'm not going to go down there because all the kids have just piled out, so we'll uh, show you a bit later. It's a beautiful blue sky day, it's freezing light, but at least it's uh, better than yesterday. We were absolutely drenched wet through by 10 o'clock. Good morning. Oh, what an horrible day it is today, Monday. It's absolutely teeming it down, freezing cold. <laughs> I haven't had time to film until now, um, but I'm down at Grove House where the lads have been working. You can see how windy but it's absolutely belting it down. But we've had Ryan take it wall down here, which hung down fine, so we're going to try to fence that off today so it keeps it secure. But there's been a couple of sort of incidents that have happened here. And, um, Apparently one of the children climbed in a fence last week and went missing for a few minutes or something which we didn't even know anything about but um, so I try to blame us but to be fair they've been alright about it but it's, it's not really our fault um, I was a kid climbed fence and got out with nobody noticing but anyway um, that was one thing uh, and then over the weekend like, like I say Ryan's been here taking all this wall down which he's done and then down the bottom end there's a um, stone uh, dry stone wall um, which he was pulling that down so we can then fence up to you know the school boundary sort of thing anyway he started that he worked all weekend bless him and um, in fact he's just gone past there <laughs> I think he's been to pick something up um, yeah, he worked all weekend to get it done, so we could come in, obviously Monday today, and uh, get it fenced off, make secure, and uh, all the neighbours were out surrounding him, carrying on, one after the other, saying it's not Skull's Wall, it's a part, of, part of an heritage conservation area, this and the other, but God knows, um, so he's had to stop that, so now if you can see a big pile of stone on the floor there, that's from the dry stone wall, which we're going to obviously take to the stone man where I are to um, we'll have to leave it here now because if it's got to go back up then we'll have to get a dry stone wall man in to rebuild it so yeah fun and games on a Monday um, obviously I found this out yesterday morning as Ryan were working so I just told him to stop what he were doing it's not worth getting involved in you know politics we've just had a meeting with the school and the school's adamant it's their wall the residents are saying no it's part of their heritage whatever I don't know so anyway Mike who was a sort of project sort of manager of this and another school we're doing for them he's you know he's checked obviously the school got planning this and the other but it might not have cropped up with the conservation as planning went through so anyway he's going to find that out today and tomorrow and let us know so yeah interesting one really um, so yeah we'll uh, we'll let you know how we get on with that one Justin's just turned up, panic stations down at Grove House <laughs> which a bit of an oversight probably my fault actually um, I've slightly moved the gate positions on these automated gates and I haven't allowed one of the gate posts to go into the ground more so it just wants a little extension hence why I can't wait for our bloody little fab shop can't to get right, open I know, uh, right, hopefully he's starting soon but Anyway, we're just going to put a couple of palisade posts, it's going to be underground, uh, welded on extensions, and then what we'll do is once to get a couple of offcuts, about 8 inch, something like that, in both corners of the uh, gate post, then they'll strap them like that, so it'll be solid. 
and it, it, the lats will be stronger because concrete will get in the middle of it so it'll be a good deal right, so I'll yeah see you later on. Uh, just before you go Justin Hi. I'm not liking look at that Get, get bucket out and wash it. Uh, come on. Hey, whose van is it? Is it mine? Yeah, this is. Uh, what did you say? Uh, I said, excuse me. Josh, make sure you uh, bleep <laughs> that one out. Yeah. Even back there. Who's, look. who's been using this for the last two weeks? Yeah, but even back look. Yeah, it's a good wash. Right, best get down there, mate. Right, all right. Um, no... You got mask and gloves? Yeah, put it on. Right, okay. Right. Cheers, see ya. And yeah, that's it. Panic over. Um, these things are to get over it, so yeah. Hence what's just happened there is why I'm gonna set up just a little fab shop in here and get some electric over, um, board it out, and just get a little table. So we need to weld stuff like he's just gonna do there. We've got a little table just to do stuff. Normally I I make Ed Elsa's out, but obviously when we're over this end it's a long way to go, so yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad to dig this out and put some pink curves in so the gate drops down a bit more and then uh, Matt will be here tomorrow automate them hopefully all wires are still intact from the last lot it should be okay otherwise we'd have to change it all the way back so yeah that's us all done and we'll catch you later right after a long day yesterday getting these gates sorted we're, we're back at it getting fencing finished off now so i've got one more hole there one there that's done and we're over here it's a lovely cold morning this morning all this is just waiting to get um, automated this here, this gate's coming out, we're going to put a new gate in and then just where, where that gate is there, we're actually running a track all the way down to these main gates at the front as well so we'll get all that done and uh, should be a good day it's, even though it looks like this, it's actually really nice you know, it's not really that cold anymore, cold this morning oh, I have heard it's meant to snow again, so yeah, finally getting there 2.4 IV mesh and uh, we'll be done by Friday all right guys so we've uh, finished all this off now at the front just to get to hang in the morning so we've got Matt here on video effing and blinding outside the school no I'm joking get Jamie on uh, new equipment that we got Even got Lloyd helping out. Uh, trenching all the way down there to end in. And you got this bit of kit here. Loving uh, life, Jamie. Right, be all the way down to getting across. Down at Grove House, it's looking well. Got Ryan and his crew here, look, just doing a bit of time looking for us, finishing it off. Looking very well, doing a sterling job with Ryan there, look. And a cracking job around here, this was all just like a, a trench that we had to do when we took wall down. But yeah, just finished it off nicely as that. Yeah, and he's just putting a bit round gate post for us, so look neat. Yeah, we're more or less done down here, doing a good job. We still don't know what's happening with Stonewall at the bottom. And I'll just show you, we've actually got a big pile. Big pile of stone here. Uh, well, we've, we've put a bit of rubble here, but we're waiting to see what happens. Stonewall's down there, part of uh, part of conservation that they're arguing we're planning now. So we'll see what happens, but that stone wall might have to go back up yet, we don't know. So we'll come and take us rubble and stuff once we know what's happening. So yeah, I think we'll leave this one here. We're all done. Lads are just getting some temporary panels that next door schools let us have. So yeah, all good in the hood and we'll leave it at that one.
literally just got back um, lads are nearly finished actually I believe so I'm, I'm gonna go see them now um, where they are at uh, Grove House School so I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching it's Friday we've got that Friday feeling hopefully we'll have a little f early finish let them go for the cheeky pint let's see um, so yeah you know whilst you're here why not give us a thumbs up give us a like and if you haven't already, why not subscribe while you're here? And we'll see you next time. Thank you.